Hi everyone, today we'll be looking at Jungle Warrior, which is the knockoff or bootleg of Takara Tomy's um, Beast Wars Masterpiece Tigatron. And as you can see, that packaging um, is just plain, just a white tiger, there's no third party branding. Um, and maybe just to stay clear from Takara Tomy. So as you can see the back side is the same. So um, let me open it up and see what's inside the box. And this is everything he comes with. As you can see, they did a really great job with the packaging. And he also comes with two um, display pieces. I think the original doesn't come with any. So let me know if I'm incorrect in the comment section. So this is great that they included these. And since he came in robot mode, um, I'm comparing it with the IT knockoff Dinobot. As you can see, he's a little bit shorter than Dinobot. Also, one of the things that I noticed on mine, it had a little bit of oil. I don't know if that's something that these figures come with. So it had a little bit of oil around this section, around the shoulder joint. So far, just from touching it and feeling it, it seems the joints are holding up pretty well. There's, um, I don't really blame the KO company. Um, Takara could have done uh, things a lot more better. And yes, he does have like more of a, not a clear white, more like a, like a mush no paint job right here. So I thought he was white in the show, so I guess he's not. I haven't seen the show in a while. But so far he's looking great. Um, let's take a look at the assess the articulation and accessories in more detail. He does come with a Megatron head. I think this is from an episode where he hacks into the um, Predacon like internet. So it was a way of hacking into it. So it's a bunch of naughty shenanigans into how to hack the internet. And I don't think this is compatible with the MP Megatron. It's just an accessory for Tigatron. He also comes with a cord used in that episode. And I tried to see if this uh, figure came with instructions. Um, unfortunately it doesn't so I forgot where it goes. I think this part is connected to his head if I remember correctly. So yes it seems it goes into his head. Um, this little area over here. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the piece connected together. It seems because of the paint and how tight the space is, you may um, rub off the paint. So I didn't want to do that. So just be careful on that when you're trying to attach it to his head. So the other um, accessory that we have is, of course, his gun. And I wish he would have also used his tail gun. I know that. He didn't use it on the show, but it's more like a throwback to the figure. So his tail just wraps up in robot mode. That would have been um, a fun um, accessory to have too, along with the figure. So let me try to replace one of um, his faces and see how easy it is to remove. 
Just be careful here. I think you gotta push it out first. Okay. So it is kind of tight. Just be careful that you don't break the side panels here. This one's right here. And I don't know if this one uses a light or um, any electronics on the head. I don't think so. I think it's just light piping. And let's take a quick look at the heads he comes with. So this is one of them. This one seems to have blue eyes. And so far the finish on the faces is they um, is pretty well done. The screaming face. Or the scare face, I should say. This is more of like an angry face. So let's replace it with this one. So just be careful, I think you gotta fit it inside the panels first. Okay. So yes, as I mentioned before, just be careful when um, changing faces, especially around these panels right here. And then just push it in. So let's look at the um, articulation on the figure and the uh, paint applications a little bit closer. So let's look at the top body of the figure first. I mean, so far I think they did a great job at um, and uh, the paint applications, I think it looks great. And over here is a little bit of white on his belly. So I think um, they did a great job. One last thing um, I forgot to mention is his missiles that attach to his forearm. He only came with one set of missiles, so I think they attach here to the side. So let's continue looking at the articulation on the figure and see how he holds up. Just right out of the box, um, the, all the joints are pretty stiff and the only thing that I'm worried about is here, this joint right here, which over time is just going to loosen up even more. Is the only, I wish um, Takar would have implemented a better um, joint for this. Because I, I know pretty much if, there's, if the joints are loose, it's pretty much by Takara's design, so... There's nothing we can really blame the um, KO company on. And I think he does have ratchet um, hip joints. Knee joints. Right now the knee joints hold up pretty well. The thing too about the knees that I don't like, there's like a, a joint at the bottom right here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, it's like a little bit... Uh, like a white joint that is more for like beast mode but sometimes it does get in the way it moves without you moving the actual knee joint so that is a little bit of bothersome on that design ankle articulation toe articulation I couldn't really move it this section right here so I'll just leave it as is 
And this section right here is die cast. And I think he does have like an app crunch, but I need to look at the instructions and see how to um, utilize it. I mean, not the instructions since they didn't come with any, so I'll just have to research it online. Head seems to be on a ball joint. It's really kind of hard to move it up and down. It's kind of limited. Elbow articulation, I think he's on a single elbow articulation. Finger articulation and wrist articulation. The fingers are pretty stiff, so I can barely move this once. Just be careful on that. And here's the other um, shoulder articulation that he has. It's, it's pretty stiff too, so that's good. I think that covers uh, most of the major articulation on this figure. One thing to note too, is that if you're buying an official one, and the panels are like this, these panels, then you receive a KO. The official ones have an actual cover for this panel, so it covers these two holes right here. This whole, this whole panel section is covered, so that's one of the things to look out for if you're buying one off eBay and they sent you one of this, so that way you know right off the bat that they sent you a KO. So let me try to transform it real quick and see if I find a way without the instructions. get out of out of it I'm not a big fan of the of the panels I mean they did a, a better job of hiding you know more things in beast mode than Cheeto but I mean look at those legs they're horrible so it's like I could honestly do away with these panels or make this panel smaller as I think they look hideous in robot mode but luckily, while I was transforming him to Bismo, nothing broke. So that's always a good indication with this chaos. And also, too, I tried to transform his gun. But it looks like I may have too much pain here. I wasn't able to fold this back. So I just decided to leave it as is since I'm going to keep mine um, in robot mode most of the time. But if you're thinking of getting this, um, this version, get it now. This KO, I bought mine from AliExpress. I bought it for around, I think, $85. I used it, um, I bought it when there was like a $5 coupon or they had like annivers some anniversary sale. You know, they have those sales um, like every three months. So just wait for one of those. Hopefully the price doesn't go up. So keep an eye on this if you're thinking of getting one. And let me know if you have any questions and thank you for watching.